9,000 students. Professors never let their students forget that Burma was the third nation in the history of the British Empire to win its independence. The first two being the American colonies and the Republic of Era. Professor Chaw Thet, who once taught history at Yale University, evaluates for his students the assets and liabilities that Burma inherited from the British occupation. In the first place, it made possible, that is the British occupation made possible, three decades of intense misery amongst 80% or 85% of the people. When the Delta was being opened up, after the Suez Canal was opened in 1870, the opening up was done by small units, small social units of single Burmese families who were dependent on the money lenders for the first two years of their pioneer work in clearing the swamps and the mangrove jungles, they were dependent for the first two years on the money that they had to borrow from the Indian Chetias. And these Chetias in turn lent money to our Burmese cultivators at anything from 50 to 120 percent per annum. So by 1929, you have Officially, 75% of the agricultural land in South Burma in the hands of aliens, and unofficially, perhaps much more than that. The professor is also mindful that Britain helped Burma prepare for her independence. There were many difficulties that Burma had to face to rehabilitate itself after the ravages of the war. You know we were occupied for three years. We were bombed by both sides. Most of our towns were left flat, but nevertheless, there had to be a quick rehabilitation, a quick raising of the standards of the living of the people. And the totalitarian method seemed to promise, on the surface at any rate, a shortcut towards these goals. But our leaders were wiser. Perhaps they were wiser because the British taught us some of the values, some of the ideas which they themselves believed in, but which they probably did not bother to apply to us. All the way, anyway. But these people, our leaders, decided once and for all that they would choose democracy and that they would probably have to work harder. But that in the long run, in the interests of the people and of our country, over a longer period, democracy was their cup of tea, that they would choose democracy. And therefore you have one more tangible evidence of what the British left us. Are there any questions that you want to make? Is there any possibility of Burma entering into a line like Southeast Asia Treaty Organization? Well, I wouldn't like to handle that, but let me do it anyway. <laughs> our, our country is committed for the time being, and perhaps you'll understand why, for the time being to a strict policy of neutralism. I think largely this is to give us time to allow our country and our government and our armed forces to stand more firmly on their own feet. Perhaps later this question will arise in a much more urgent manner and uh, I should say that it is inevitable 